All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Niche, a genetic survival game. So some of you who have watched my previous series are probably wondering where is the Bushy Tail Tribe? Well, they're not going anywhere. This is just a second series I'm going to start up on uh, this game. So um, don't worry, that series is still going to continue uh, as it has been. So no worries there. But this series can be something a little bit different. So I was trying to think of some ways to sort of um, make the game a little bit more interesting and maybe slightly more challenging at the same time. So I came up with this idea. So this is what uh, I'm going to call the Queen Bee Tribe which you can tell by the title and um, thumbnail, no doubt. But basically what I'm doing is there's only going to be one female leader in the tribe, the Alpha. We have here is Queen Alora, And she's going to be, um, there's going to be only basically one female, breeding female, in the tribe at any time. Um, so basically everything has to go through her, which uh, can make things pretty challenging, I think, because if she doesn't have great genetics or if I have only males who are uh, close related to her, that could um, be a problem. And I can't switch at any point until she dies. And once she dies, then I could choose another female, um, one of her offspring, to take over for her. And then basically what I'll do is, since I'm kind of playing off the idea of like, um, animals who live in hives like ants, bees, and probably in this situation um, would probably be more closely to something like mole rats because they are mammals. Uh, but going with the sort of the bee theme uh, based on the name, what I was thinking there'd be um, the males would be foragers, all other females are warriors, or yeah warriors I guess works, and then there's the queen, the single uh, breeding female. So all the males can breed with her, uh, but only, uh, but none of the other females can breed whatsoever. Now I haven't really thought of what will happen if we go to the hard island and have to deal with things like um, horny males, um, but we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So, but anyway, um, I'm not sure if I forgot to say anything. I probably did because I usually do. But uh, if you guys have any other questions, or if you guys have any ideas for other um, other rules I could add to make it a little bit more interesting, a little more more challenging as well, then just just let me know and just throw them down in the comments section. I'd be happy to take a look at them. If they seem cool, then I'll, I'll add them to the challenge. So, and all right, so let's jump into it. So we have Queen Alora here. So you can see her, her genetics here. She does have passive antlers or inactive antlers, uh, medium ears, normal snout, spiky body, double claw, which is interesting. So she's going to have some pretty high strength. Yeah, see, strength of six. Um, that's going to be convenient because I do want her female offspring to be warriors. So. Uh, hind legs is good. Uh, normalized, short-sighted eyes, inactive, which is eh. The fishing tail is really good. So her fishing, uh, let's see, yeah, fishing of six. So that's interesting. I've never even really done anything with the fishing in this game because I never really had a situation um, where it's come up. Uh, nothing's really, I never really had any creatures who were particularly good at it. And I didn't really spend a lot of time around the coast. So we might play around with that a little bit in this one though because um, of the, the genetics that we have. So, pass, uh, excuse me, passive, oh wait, that's actually incorrect. <laughs> Her fishing, this doesn't, I'm not sure if this counts because in the update, the um, tails no longer show up on creatures with spiky body as you can see. So, I'm not sure if she still gets the benefits of it or if that's negated. Um, it, based on what I see here, she still has, she gets the benefits. I think it might just be visually you don't see it. I'm not sure. Uh, if you guys have the answer to that, you guys can let me know. But either way, her offspring might get the uh, fishing tail, so it's it's worth it to um, uh, think about that. Um, and was there anything else about her genetics that, uh, let's see, normal blood clotting and A and B. Um, that's pretty much it. Nothing totally out of the ordinary. Spiky body inactive as well, so chances are we're going to have a lot of spiky body creatures, which I'm not at all um, opposed to, because I like the look of it, and it'd be something very different from the bushy tail tribe. So and Then we have Danon, so uh, Alora Danon, for those of you who get the, uh, the reference there. Um, props to you. So Danon is the first male in the tribe. He's got the poison fangs, also inactive antlers, no paw as usual with uh, Adam. Web time feed is not great, 
also short side eyes, we might have to think about um, putting some uh, normal eyes once we get to doing the genetics. So uh, big body, I think that's again a standard for Adam, but let's see what we got here. I think I should do normal eyes. I think it's equally important to get rid of that um, no paw. So, um, at the same time, though, I would like to. I wish I could pass on the claw. I don't think I can really do that without, um, or at the moment, because I don't have that unlocked. I think I need to. Let's see, I think it's right here. Yeah, I got seven attacks before I can get to that. So maybe we'll start out with a different leg or just try to hope we don't get unlucky. What's his other one? Is it just a, no a runner leg? Yeah. Well, I could just put in, I think I'll just put in the runner leg. Um, it's hard to go wrong with that. And that'll be helpful for, um, those who end up being the other males end up being foragers so and I think that's pretty much it for what I need to do as far as setup goes so we can just go ahead and have them do their turns probably have him clear this clear that and then collect a little bit of food she can't collect at all which is unfortunate um, so I guess I'll just have her mate for the first time, and then she's gonna have to stay there. I don't think it's a good idea to destroy. Well, at the same time, destroying this wouldn't be the worst thing, because there's sure to be other bushes around here, and um, it will grow back. So I think I'm actually gonna do that, because that just gives us a ton of food right at the start, and it won't be hard. See, I mean, we just go to smelling will probably hmm, don't seem to actually don't have great smelling apparently good hearing though uh, i'm sure there's more bushes around here more berry bushes and that will grow back so it's not the end of the world and there's really not that many creatures to worry about so food isn't going to be an issue um i'm going to go ahead and just we don't really need the notification so i'll close that down um and now we're going to end the turn here okay so here's the first one it is a male and of course he would get the no paw this is Duke Van. Um, how does he look outside of that, though? Spiky body. Did get a claw. He's actually not good at all, I'm going to be totally honest. <laughs> um, yeah, not a fan, because he should be... Let's look at his... Um, I really would want him to be a forager, and he's really more of a warrior. I guess I could um, have some males be warriors, some females be foragers as well. That's probably fine, actually. I'll let you guys can let me know what you think would be better. But I know what I'm going to do is I'm the foragers will have the orange, warriors will have green, and then the, only the queen will have the blue. And obviously, I'm talking about the gems on the chest there. So um, I can have Alora come up here, clear that. And clear that. Adam's gonna do that. I'm oh, not Adam. I mean Dannon. Come there. Yeah, he'll just gather food. Um, another nest would be good if we could find one of those, but I don't see one right at the moment. So let's have. I guess we're all the moves here. So let's go flip a turn. Okay. See, that's already growing back. So that's. Yeah. I don't not sure how much longer it'll take but I don't think it's the end of the world that we decided to do that. He can, let's actually, let's get him. Do I want him to be a, so his attack is four. Yeah, really the only thing he's gonna be good at is being a warrior because he can't gather at all. So let's put, yeah, let's keep him on green then. And, oh, there's another nest right there. So let's have Alora come here, mate again, and get back in the nest. And then with his last move, I guess he could just...
clear that. All right, let's see what the next offspring is gonna look like. Ooh, I think I see, those aren't, oh, they're just blue eyes. Okay, I thought those were blind eyes for a second. I was getting worried. Um, yeah, so normal eyes, again, with the no paw. Also a spiky body. Hind legs, not that, just pretty similar actually to his brother. So, yeah. Oh, I was gonna, I think I'll generally keep all the males as, well, probably, Forgers will probably be beta. Well, they'll all just be probably beta. I'm not really gonna worry about the ranks except for keeping her alpha. It's not that important. Um, so, just have him uncover this. He's gotta stay there. And I'll just have her mate once again. She can't, uh, really, she can't get down to that one? Hmm. That's unfortunate. Okay, you collect. You see that berry bush is already back. Click that, click that. Okay, so not the best offspring so far, but it could be worse. Um, does he smell anything or hear anything? Not really. So, might as well pull the turn here then, I guess. Okay, now you, Laura, can get in this. Ooh, there's a. Uh, Wander. Looks like a, another male. Check out his stats. So this is Van Van. Um, he's actually very similar um, to Danon, except for basically having the ram horns. Ooh, Nimble Fingers is good though. So yeah, we'll, we'll get him in here. He can join our little tribe. And let's see. Yeah, his. Attack is three, collecting is two. I think I'll have him be a forager though. So as a forager, you can start collecting some food there. I should move him here so he can collect from both of those. Um, she can't really do anything because she needs to um, give birth in the next turn. Uh, you can go out there and I'll have you. Oh, there's another nest. So plenty of nests, that's not a problem. Um, Bushes are actually doing okay on those as well. So let's see, do I want to change this up a little bit? Because we seem to still keep getting those no paws. So maybe I'll take this out um, and put the runner leg on the 30%. And yeah, we'll actually, we'll put them, we'll just switch them around. That seems like a good idea. So yeah. That'll work. And let's flip another turn. Oh, another male. This could be a problem. If she doesn't produce a female heir, then that's literally the end of the tribe. And still has the no paw, huh? Okay. Claw, no paw, hind leg. Um, nothing that is particularly interesting to me. I do think. Um, yeah, he's going to be a warrior as well. And warriors will basically be warriors slash scouts and guards, and so really it will be their job is to um, fight off any predators as well, sort of just um, guard the perimeters of the, the tribe's territory. Okay, foragers will be, actually I guess foragers will be more scouts, they're going to go out and collect food wherever necessary. Can continue to collect as well. Food is looking pretty good. Okay, so I guess there's not a ton for um, Elora to do. Don't want her to destroy that. I guess let's have her come here, mate, and stay there, I guess. So um, I think we'll flip one more turn here and just sort of see what happens. Another male. This isn't um, the best thing that could happen. Is this one any better though? Claw, runner leg, hind leg, normal. He's better. Definitely the best so far. Um, drink the four. I think he's going to be another warrior though. 
Okay, we gotta get those nimble fingers. How many more? Um, okay, we're almost there actually. So, if you collect all you can. You collect everything you can. That's gotta get us pretty close, right? Oh, we're just two away. Okay, there's a berry bush right there. Might be able to get to that one. Can you? Okay, you can move there. Um, I don't think destroying it will count. Actually, I should kill that while I'm here. We'll get that next turn. That's fine. Um, you can come out of the nest. I think I should keep you around here to prevent that from going dark. Um, but now we'll have Queen Alora come here and actually mate with this new guy, Van Van. Uh, although let's make sure they're um, nope, don't want that. Go away. Their immunities are okay. So Van Van, let's let's see. You got B and E. Oh, I think that's it's possible that I could produce a offspring who has. Um, double immunities, but it's not a sure thing, so we're gonna take the chance. But since I think I might change around what I have in the um, genetics, possibly Ooh, blind eyes, that could be bad. You know what? Actually, I don't think I'm going to change it, I think it's fine. So, yeah have her mate. Um, she can't get back to a nest. And I don't... S it's probably not worth the um, the nesting material. Let's build another one right here. We still have plenty of time to um, get back to the other one next turn, so I'm not going to worry about that. But I think that's going to do it for this first episode, guys. Um, it starts out a, started out a little bit slow, I think, but that's okay. Um, and it should get more exciting once we get to the point where there's actually some choices involved. Unfortunately, right now, there's not a ton of options since everyone is a male, except for uh, our queen. Hopefully, she does produce an heir soon, because she has... Well, 12 days is plenty of time, but still got to be um, aware of that. Uh, maybe, this is, will be the, maybe this will be the heir right here. Uh, the baby that she's carrying. We'll see. Um, we'll have to find out in the next one. So thank you guys for watching. Um, again, let me know if you have any ideas for other rules I could potentially add to the series to make it a little bit more uh, interesting. And if you wanted to rename the creatures, um, I'd be willing to do that as well, of course. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys all in the next one.